Hey friends, Rob here doing a response and a review. Many of you have seen by now this whole Sandy Hook exposed. Did it happen? Didn't it happen? Many of that information I heard prior to those videos coming out literally a week or several weeks after the shooting took place. So, my God, friends, what an hour we're living in. Either this was a tremendous feat of deception or it actually did happen. In that case, certainly our condolences to really a sober, somber moment in the history of the United States. And, you know, really, who do you believe? Who do you put your faith in? Who can you trust anymore? Friends, the reality is, is the only one we can and should put our trust in is not any man that's a creation, but the creator of the universe. Now, as a minister of the gospel, you can certainly take God at his word and God's word the Bible at its word. And, you know, obviously I'm a minister, so I'm going to come on here. I'm going to tell you the truth because the reality is, is God's word doesn't lie. God doesn't lie. That's who we need to place and put our trust in. If you desire to subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube, go for it. The reality is, is heaven's real. There is eternal separation from God that also is real. And the only way we can have or attain eternal life is by having our lives surrendered, submitted to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. My friends, the Bible is very clear that we control the doorknob to our heart. Either we can reject Christ due to disobedience or we can accept him due to disobedience. But, you know, God gave us a free will. God will never make you serve him. God's not going to crash your party. So you control the doorknob. But I promise you this, once you open the door of your heart, just the crack, the Lord will come in with his great grace, mercy, compassion, kindness, most of all is irrevocable, unconditional love. And the Bible's very clear in the book of John, third chapter, 16th verse, simply states, for God so loved the world that he gave as a gift his only son, that if you would believe, receive Jesus, you would not perish, you'd have eternal life. And God desires no one to perish under the sound of my voice, but wants all to have the assurance and the insurance that when we all take our last breath, we can and we will make heaven a home. Desire to recite a simple prayer after me, say, Jesus... Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. Give me your comments on this whole Sandy Hook Exposed. Uh, many of you have seen this, the, that video for the first time. And, you know, I, who knows what to believe anymore. I mean, the government is, you know, whatever. But, friends, the only stable way or place you can place your faith or trust in is God above, the God of the universe. The Lord loves you. He's got a mighty and a great plan for your life. Also under the search, Rob would want to add many of the ministry videos where I do expound. I talk about the Bible, Christianity, heaven, hell, angels, demons, etc. The Lord loves you. Be blessed today.